I tricked 600,000 people using this fake Minecraft mob. Amongst the reactions were expectations of the mob's return, false claims, and wild outlandish theories on why it exists. So how did I do it? Hit that sub button and sit back while I explain how I combined the insanely broken reach of short form content with my block bench modeling skills to fool more than over half a million people. If you aren't aware, shorts and TikTok content are great for exposure and reach. I would know. So with that in mind, I wanted to use everything I knew about short form content along with my block bench modeling skills to pull off a prank on a large scale for this year's April Fools. Because the only thing funnier than pranking one person is pranking hundreds of thousands. So on April 1st, I posted this shorts video to my TikTok and YouTube channel. In the video, I claim to have found a hidden mob deep within Minecraft's code and touching it will crash your game and and that minecraft's official twitter account blocked me this video drew inspiration heavily from those typical did you know or spooky story time tiktoks you know the ones that use this music or this music or this music Basically, I watched half a million of those styled videos and copied the style the best I could, and it turned out great. If you haven't seen it, go check it out right now. As of recording, it's sitting at 200k views on YouTube and 400k on TikTok. So with the video style ironed out, where was the model actually inspired from? Where did this fake mob that just points at you come from? I needed something that would be uncanny but believable in-game. Almost to give you that feeling like a new mob does where it doesn't feel like it fits, but you could see it growing on you eventually. I'm looking at you, Warden. And that was when I was reminded of one of my favorite internet memes, Scrupulous Fingor. Scrupulous Fingor originates from an internet hoax Twitter account by the name of Cut Video Game. On April 23rd of last year, they posted the following along with two images. In the files for New Super Mario Bros. DS, there's a fully coded, unused ghost enemy referred to as Scrupulous underscore Fingor. When asked about the enemy in an interview, Miyamoto disregarded the question, seeming unusually upset. At the time, so many people were fooled, and some today even think Fingor is still real. So I 3D modeled Scrupulous Fingor into Minecraft. Here's what the model looks like. It's It looks exactly the same as Scrupulous Fingor, just in a more blocky Minecraft style. So now with the model all done, I decided to use Twitter as a testing ground, just to see how people would react. And it did decent, at least for my small, humble little Twitter account. I think right now it's my most liked and interacted tweet, so glad that Fingor gets to take that accomplishment. All that was left was getting the game gameplay footage. So like any sane person would do, I coded Scrupulous Fingor into Minecraft as a data pack resource pack combo. I actually made two versions of this. The first is the one you're looking at right now that just follows you around, looks at you and points at you. But I actually didn't like the movement, at least for the short form video. So I scrapped this whole thing. Don't worry though, I reused this code in my Boo data pack video, which you can go check out right now. So instead of using all my hard work of this data pack, I decided to take the easiest possible route that I could. I quite literally put the Scrupulous Fingor model on a zombie head, gave it a potion of invisibility, and put myself into survival mode. And that is how Scrupulous Fingor worked in the hoax video. It's not super advanced, but it works. And it tracks great and follows you, so I didn't have to code any AI. In the video, I had him chase me around in the nether because it was a spooky environment. I don't know, maybe I would have done it in the end too. And for good faith, I added Happy April Fools at the end of the video so as to not cause another one of these incidents. So after posting the video, I got a handful of choice YouTube comments. So let's review a handful of my favorites, shall we? I think it'll come back. I really hope I didn't create any false hope for this account named Tom Holland. I'm, I'm really sorry, Spidey. Wait, I've seen it, but where? I don't know if this is a result of like some sort of Mandela effect or this person just wanted to be in the loop, but people will literally believe anything if you make it look convincing enough. These two comments are practically the same thing, but there was a lot of comments like this. This mob is a creature of Super Mario. Yo, this is that guy from Mario. These two comments are just further proof to me that the original Fingor hoax has convinced so many people that it was real. Okay, okay, last one. This one's my favorite. So Mo Yang added it until it was deleted days later. So that's the original story of Fingor. Look out, MatPat, you have a new theorist on the blog. If you want to see more reactions to this hoax, feel free to go to my comment section and have a few day reading them. I sure had a great time. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all. Bye!